most familiar with tragedy and inflicting pain, the harbinger of cataclysmic change, and a major pivotal force for the X-Men, Magneto only wished to bring justice to his kind. His entire life was nothing short of a roller coaster filled with pain, death, injustice, and vengeance. His first impressions of our world were the most rotten one could experience. Fans know him as the powerful Omega-level mutant Magneto, who laid his strongest foes to dust. In this marvelous video, we'll explore the mechanics of Magneto's powers. Does the Master of Magnetism even have a limit to his abilities? Let's find out. But before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Every Power and Ability of Magneto The man of many names, Max Eisenhardt, more popularly known as Eric Magnus Lenscher, was the self-proclaimed master of magnetism. As a young, sensitive youth, he faced the worst atrocities at the hands of the Nazis. More so, his own daughter's demise made him conscious of his powers. To put it simply, Magneto can manipulate all forms of magnetism. To remind ourselves, let's do a quick rundown of Magneto's powers and abilities. Magneto's tumultuous journey saw him becoming Earth's deadliest supervillain, relapsing into the loose definition of a hero in the face of failure. What makes his character so compelling is his inability to stick to the foolish binary of good and evil, while he spent years of his life trying to divide mutants and humans in a similar way. Eric's entire story arc is simply a reflection of his identity as a mutant. His mutant powers have only grown over the years. Magneto is considered to be one of the most powerful mutants in Marvel, if not the most powerful. Not only can he manipulate magnetism, but he can also summon force fields and fire-potent electromagnetic pulses. He can control electromagnetism, which is one of the four fundamental forces of nature. True to his name, Magneto can magnetize objects and metals. He's able to manipulate other forms of energies that exist on the electromagnetic spectrum. These include gamma and certain light rays. Magneto is capable of comprehensively controlling a whole planet's electromagnetic fields. This power is potent enough to halt entire armies, raise islands from the ocean, make mountains move, change the river currents, and trigger devastating natural disasters if he wished to do so. Could you imagine being able to turn off the Earth's gravity in a confined radius? The power to manipulate the world that we exist in is what makes him an Omega-level threat. The force fields the Master Mutant creates can hold their own against the most brutal superhuman foes and can even withstand the blow of a nuclear warhead. He's never seen without his signature magnetic armor, which provides protection with durability akin to adamantium, while his helmet protects him from psychic assaults. Pair this with his abilities of magnetic flight and rays, which are everything that brings his title justice. Magneto can manipulate matter on an atomic level, especially metallic matter, which extends to him being able to control the iron in people's blood. He gained mastery over the manipulation of metal in the natural and human-made world. Although he hardly feels the need for it, Magneto is also an excellent hand-to-hand -hand combatant, an ability that has yet to show itself. Apart from a few of his many mutant abilities, Magneto also proved himself to be a genius in multiple fields, such as genetic engineering and mutation. Being able to create mutants to join his cause artificially, he revolutionized the field of particle physics and designed and magnetically powered several aircraft, spacecraft, and space stations. His seemingly omnipotent magnetic powers, powered with his genius intelligence, make Magneto a force that should never be reckoned with. Adding his iron will to the mix, which threatened to wipe out mankind, he has a remarkable willingness to make his vision for the mutant kind come to life. For him, it did not matter if the ends justify his means, as he completely disregarded the cost it bore on his soul. Magneto's entire existence relies on making mutants dominate humans as superior beings. Omega-level threat? Examining the limits of Magneto's powers. 
After that quick recap, let's talk about the possible limits to his powers. Try not to get the chills as we explore some of his biggest feats in Marvel history. It becomes apparent why he's considered one of the strongest mutants ever to walk this Earth. One instance that comes to everyone's mind is when he summoned back the giant bullet Kitty Pride was tied to as she hurled through space light years away from Earth. Not only did he get her back, but he also disintegrated the bullet. Magneto had utilized his entire mind, consciousness, and spirit to bring her back home, which nearly killed him, but was an impressive feat either way. Speaking of electromagnetism, do you know what glues the molecules of our bodies together? Yep, electromagnetic bonds. Magneto can quite literally liquefy someone by dissolving the electromagnetic bonds in their body. We all know how powerful celestials are. After all, they're cosmic entities as old as space and time. The godly beings are known to be the creators of various worlds across the cosmos, even shaping the course of human history. In the Uncanny X-Men Volume 2, Issue Number 1, a celestial had landed on Earth, but Mr. Sinister had fled away with the cosmic being's head, which would have caused the body to slowly disintegrate and eventually annihilate the entire West Coast. This is when Magneto stepped in and acted as a surrogate central nervous system for the cosmic deity. He did tell the others to make haste. Otherwise, they could expect his brains to leak out from his eye sockets due to the agonizing strain this put on him. Magneto was used to inflicting pain on his opponents, and harming others almost seemed second nature to him. But there was an instance when he used his powers to reverse this. Magneto's hyper-awareness of magnetism allows him to detect other fundamental forces, like the time when he focused all his energy on healing Colossus. The metal mutant had seemingly turned comatose, with his heartbeat slowly fading away. Traditional medicine was of no use on his body of organic steel. Magneto claimed that the ferrous nature of Colossus's body was susceptible to his magnetic powers. First, he used his awareness to discern the issue that lay in the disrupted alignment of Colossus's body. Since the mutant couldn't bleed in his metal form, these points of disruption let out energy that would drain him fatally. The Master of Magnetism then began to draw energy from the Earth's magnetic fields to the point of overflowing with raw, undiluted power. At the same time, he kept honing his perception till he could trace every molecule and the structure of each atom. When the moment came, Magneto realized this buzzing energy in a gentle wave all over Colossus's body until the energy disruptors melted away. The Mutant of Steel slowly regained consciousness. Remember when we said Magneto can manipulate matter on an atomic and subatomic level? When a shard of ice was pierced through Magneto's chest, it hardly phased him. Instead, he dispersed the shard of ice into hydrogen and oxygen in his chest, after which he used the water molecules of the ice shard to conduct a power powerful electrostatic charge. In one of his most sinister maneuvers, Magneto tortured a whole group of men by seizing control of their bodies. His foes were lifted into the air, one by one, followed by strange sounds. These pops were the sound of their bones crushing, organs bursting, and flesh tearing as the iron in their blood was forced to a central point. He displayed his ability to reverse blood flow and paralyze the iron fibers in his opponent's blood. In one of his countless fights against the X-Men, Magneto took away access to their own mutant abilities. He forced Logan's adamantium claws to retract and took apart Xavier's wheelchair bolt by bolt. Magneto is a mutant with little mercy, as we see in X-Men Volume 1, issue number 25. In a fit of rage, the Master of Magnetism took control of Wolverine's very bones. Magneto claimed that they were all merely players in a tragedy far larger than any of them, a tragedy that was life. He began by destabilizing the adamantium that was lodged into Logan's bones on a molecular level. He then forced the metal to rip out of its moorings and out through his open wounds. We can't imagine a more painful fate. He's fought the Phoenix on multiple occasions and always managed to injure her. In the new X-Men, issue 150, Magneto killed Jean Grey. He did that by sending a lethal electromagnetic pulse through her corporeal body, which induced a planetary-level stroke. Magneto had used all his stored energy for this purpose. 
the Master Mutant has also stood up to the Avengers several times. The strongest beings like Hulk, She-Hulk, and Thor find themselves unable to break down his force shields. When the Avengers charged at him, the mutant immobilized all of them at once. Magneto stood his ground against the likes of Iron Man, Apocalypse, and Cyclops, withstanding the latter's lethal optic blasts at point-blank range. He also easily took on Hercules and Ghost Rider. In Ultimates 3, issue number 5, Magneto stood his own against the Thunder God Thor and was able to control Mjolnir, the hammer made from a celestial metal. One time, he was able to create a giant molten metal arm through induction, the process of heating metals using high magnetism. In The Uncanny X-Men, Volume 1, issue number 53, Magneto made his beliefs clear on how the world's arms race would destroy all forms of life, humans and mutants alike. He wished for the disarmament of all nuclear weaponry and threatened the countries to secure the safety of mutants all over the world. Russia responded by launching four thermonuclear warheads at its stronghold based in the Bermuda Triangle. The infuriated mutant made a beeline towards the nuclear submarine and forced it to sink below 7,000 meters, where it was crushed into non-existence. This isn't the extent of his abilities against human-made weapons of mass destruction. Multiple deadly nuclear missiles flew in the direction of what seemed to be a massive electromagnetic hurricane. This was spun out by Magneto with the missile's guidance systems targeting only his biogenetic energy signatures. He felt the awareness of this slicing through him like a blade. He willed the missiles to turn to the outer atmosphere and fly into space to dissipate the threat. However, the nuclear warheads were designed to detonate at the first sign of Magneto's powers. Through great agony, the Master Mutant still attempt to minimize the damage dealt by the missiles. The alliance between Apocalypse and Magneto was devastating but efficient in turning the tide in favor of their joint cause. But soon, Magneto grew wary of Apocalypse's overly bloodthirsty ways. The two began battling, and Magneto overtook his foe without using metal. Claiming that Apocalypse's mind is an electromagnetic field, the Master of Magnetism dissolved it with ease, but kept his consciousness alive. Magneto can protect himself from the most brutal assaults of telepathy while using his power to boost Xavier's telepathic abilities. The two opened all the barriers of their mind as they compiled their energies in an attempt to contact Galactus. When the Sentinels deliberately trapped a majority of mutants, leaving them unable to fight, Magneto stepped up and faced their entire assembly alone. The Sentinels bombarded him with energies that would incinerate anyone else, but Magneto's magnetic shields protected him to an extent. But even Omega-level mutants have their limits as the Master of Magnetism eventually fell. Spent. He's here to kill you. What are his greatest weaknesses? Even being the greatest, most potent mutant to live, Magneto has his own share of weaknesses that he keeps well concealed. Undeniably, the Master of Magnetism is capable of creating volcanoes, lifting islands, and stopping nuclear warheads, amongst many other things we discussed. The weight and intensity of his electromagnetic and magnetic powers solely depend on what physical state he finds himself in. If he were under great physical duress, Magneto would struggle to wield his powers to their total capacity. When he's at the peak of physical strength, Magneto can unleash the entire wrath of his deadly abilities, but even those come at a cost. The more intensely he utilizes his power, the greater the mental and physical strain. If he were to be severely injured in battle, this would interfere with the functioning of his powers. We saw this in his fight against the Sentinels when their relentless assault eventually wore him down and he fell. Even though he presents himself as a near god with his Omega level abilities, Magneto is susceptible to mental fatigue. This often occurs when he's exhausted or has to battle multiple superhumanly strong beings at once. Even though he emerged victorious from his battle against the Avengers, fighting the superhero team exhausted all his energies. The power of controlling our planet's magnetic fields takes massive amounts of energy, along with precise concentration and focus. Solely due to the vast intensity this requires, Magneto is often the victim of excruciatingly painful headaches. These have frequently been portrayed in the comics in moments when he uses his powers on a large scale, the pain of which has been described as electric drills through both his eyes. 
A more logistical issue Magneto faced with his cause was struggling to recruit mutants for the Brotherhood. While Xavier uses Cerebro to locate the presence of mutants all over the globe, Magneto does not possess such technology. Even his sensationalized vision for mutant kind was perceived as overly intense and violent, which turned a lot of young mutants away from his cause. While Magneto is a passionate leader of the mutants and a genius in countless fields of science, his so-called family life is a mess. Initially, the comics portrayed Magneto as the biological father of Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. Their messy family drama and disputes led Wanda to rebel against her father, stating, no more mutants. After this, she rewrote reality and wiped out the powers of the majority of the mutant population. Marvel undid the storyline of Magneto being their dad, clarifying that he lied to them with the intention of using the twins. The United Nations Security Council finally decided to loosen its hold over Earth by creating the Magneto Protocols, which consisted of a sequence of low-orbit satellites which tilted the electromagnetic fields of Earth. This left Magneto unable to use his powers to their full potential. Not for long, though, as he emitted a devastating electromagnetic pulse and reversed the effects of the satellites. Even with his levels of power, Magneto cannot achieve his vision for mutant kind on his own. His need for allies and more recruits can be considered a weakness. He constantly has to deal with disloyal allies in his brotherhood of evil mutants. There's no glue that holds them together except disdain for humankind. Eric's past was a tragic one. His Jewish heritage made him and his family victims of the atrocities committed during World War II. He powerlessly witnessed the genocide, after which the trauma took root in every cell of his being. This instilled his loathing for humankind. He had seen firsthand how evil humans could be. While his actions in the future may be explained, his stubbornness to always be superior as a mutant has gotten him into countless life-threatening situations. Remember when Magneto mercilessly ripped out the adamantium from Logan's body? This prompted an enraged Xavier to use his abilities and wipe out Magneto's mind, which left him comatose. Magneto's helmet offers him protection against such attacks, but it's evidently not strong enough against one of the most powerful telepaths in the world. Magneto's personal experiences with the rotten side of humanity shaped his entire world. Presently, this leaves him constantly at war with superhuman heroes of the world and part of his own kind, an existence without peace or joy. So much for being a survivor. Are there any metals Magneto can't control? There are materials Magneto cannot magnetize. While fans still debate the nature of this matter, it's said that he has difficulty seizing control of metals like adamantium and vibranium. Ferrous or magnetic metals are his game. Does this mean that non-ferrous metals like copper, brass, zinc, lead, tin, gold, and platinum are all outside his control? These limit one of his most incredible powers, magnetism. In the 2014 film, X-Men Days of Future Past, Magneto is held in a heavily fortified cell hundreds of feet under the Pentagon. With not a single metallic object in sight, even the guns used by the guards were made of plastic. If the most dangerously potent foes, like the mutant-killing sentinels, were made of non-metal material, that would probably end Magneto. This can be countered by the fact that Magneto controls energy, not only metals. He can manipulate all energies that lie on the electromagnetic spectrum, including photon rays, magnetic rays, and electricity. He's also been shown manipulating non-metallic materials such as wood. So while he cannot wield the non-metallics on a molecular level, he can undoubtedly alter the energies surrounding them. Marvelous Verdict Magneto's tragic backstory garners sympathy for the villain. Even his long-standing and personal history with Charles Xavier and the X-Men adds profound layers to his entire story arc. Regardless of his powerful abilities, Magneto would still be a feared force of nature. As a mutant, he became the embodiment of the fear humans held towards all human superiors. Eric's most painful memories bled into the mutants' generations that followed, convincing them to join his cause. Magneto believed his suit, helmet, and powers fueled by pain and hatred to be the ultimate solution. What he was left with instead was a ruinous life as so much more pain awaited him in the years to come. But that's just the life of a supervillain and an anti-hero. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.